Hi there, my name's Mark and I founded Magnetism in Whangarei five years ago, specializing in operational software that you can't buy off the shelf. Uh, we've expanded over the last five years, there's now 22 of us, and we've even opened an office in Auckland. When we moved into Auckland, I had a 50 up, 50 down dedicated connection supplied. Our business evolves around uh, the transfer of data. Magnetism is a Microsoft partner, and we specifically use a link to allow us to share documents, transfer files, and have a very personal face-to-face -face engagement using video conferencing. Hey Paul, so can you bring up the document? Can you see that? Yeah, I'm accepting it now. So I just had a question about um, one of these requirements here. I was just wondering, is that to all users? Probably have to talk to Ros to make that, um, to get that clarification. Great. Now, Paul, were you going to um, send those files through to Wellington now? Should be in the backup folder in about 30 seconds. We have clients um, located uh, geographically across New Zealand, often moving files around the vicinity of 40, 50 gigabytes at a time. And so if we didn't have ultra-fast broadband, the ability for us to back up, restore, access their data, make it available for our development environment wouldn't be possible. Thousands of dollars have been put aside for a travel budget between Auckland and Wellington on the New Zealand Trade and Enterprise Project. We virtually touched none of that, and that was because there was no need to lose the travel time from a, a human resource point of view. And the reason for that is that our staff working in Auckland were able to access data, restore data, you know, around 30 gigs at a time with Link. The daily, what we call scrum meetings in software development were able to happen face to face with parties coming in from their Auckland office, Wellington office, as well as our Auckland office. Bupa Healthcare, in their case, they required a solution to manage all their retirement villages and hospitals across New Zealand. We can also offer training then across their staff in those locations um, using e-learning technology. So one of my other roles is president uh, of the Northern Chamber of Commerce. And one of the things I've noticed over the last couple of years is how ultra-fast broadband is starting to change how we uh, do business as a region. Instead of dealing with just a local market, you suddenly start dealing with a worldwide market. And Northland has that unique ability with having uh, some of the best art, some of the best history up here, and people want access to it. As a software developer, I think ultra-fast broadband is going to mean a greater degree of connectedness with customers through voice over IP technology. I think it's going to allow more businesses to manage their IT infrastructure remotely, in other words, outsource it to the cloud. My advice to businesses considering connecting to UFB would be uh, to do it sooner rather than later, all you may need is the ultra-fast service and therefore the phone lines etc can be um, supplied by voice over IP. Look at some of the new players that have come into the market. Don't delay, start using, experimenting, particularly with video technology now. How does that apply to your business and taking your brand and your products to market? Start looking at rationalising things like your IT infrastructure. Do the servers that sit under your desk or in the cupboard or in your server room, are they needed now? They might have been needed five years ago, but uh, could you remove those capital type expenditures into a OPEX expenditure, so pay-as-you-go type scenario? Ultra-fast broadband makes it possible for us to do business. Our company has grown pretty rapidly over the last five years, and we've accessed international markets that wouldn't have been available to us unless we had ultra-fast broadband. 